Steve here, Wilderness 333, down and dirty video here, but I've always wanted to film us making these steaks that I'm about to do. Every time we come up to our cabin, it's spring break, so we're up here. We uh, make a couple big Angus sirloin steaks in here, do them in the cast iron. They're amazing. And because of daylight savings time, I finally have enough light to do it. Normally it's dark, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So uh, we'll see how it comes out, see how this video comes out. But I think we're gonna get some good uh, cooking going on here. So stay tuned. There they are, a couple nice steaks. We got some seasoned pepper, some salt, that's all I put on them. Then I'm gonna go with some extra virgin olive oil and pour some of that in here. Just enough to kind of coat the bottom. That'll work. That cast iron's hot, so it is glove time. Now we're gonna get those steaks on. For me, the key here is lots of butter. We're gonna be putting lots of butter and just basting this steak in butter. Okay, it really is about lots of butter here. Just let it soak in that butter. I've pulled it off the heat a little bit. Uh, these are really thick steaks and I wanna, I wanna get them a good medium. That's how the family likes them. Uh, get a good pink in there, but not too much. And I'm just gonna let them sit there. They just baste in that butter and that creates just this awesome sort of dipping sauce or gravy. We serve it with some, I think broccoli, the wife is fixing and some mashed potatoes and uh, Pesto pasta for the kids. They say it's one of their favorite meals of the year, even better than Thanksgiving. So uh, they're cooking away. Okay, these things have been on about 14 minutes and I wanna check them. Now they say you're not supposed to do this cutting into meat or whatever. Uh, juices will escape, blah, blah, blah. In cast iron, I say you can do it because any juices are gonna stay right there. Oh, sorry. Still pretty raw. Those are some rare steaks, so they still need some time, big time. All right, those are done. I'm gonna get them off the cast iron. I'm gonna take them inside, put them on a plate, get some foil on top of them, and they're just gonna sit for like 10 minutes and they'll be good. But I wanna get them off of that cast iron so they quit cooking. And then uh, that juice is gonna stay in there. We will be using it later. So it's delicious. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Let's take a look in there. Oh yeah, dude, got it good. We'll just cut it in strips and serve it up. Should try a bite? Okay, let's try. Got it? Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness! So yummy. So yummy. So yummy. All right, we got our mashed potatoes. 
Uh, we're here. We got our pesto pasta, and we're ready to eat. So uh, let's turn off this video and get to eating. Okay, we are sitting here, and we are full. <laughs> Tails just wiped out with his hand on his belly. The steaks were delicious. Uh, we just put them, cut them up into slices, serve them that way. You can dip it in that sauce, that buttery, juicy meat sauce that was in the cast iron. Dip it in there, and it's amazing. Serve it up with some pesto. The kids will love it. Mashed potatoes, and you're set. Everybody full? No! <laughs> Kai ate a Lunchable and not mashed potatoes because he's a goof. Uh, he missed out on the meat, but it's so good. Thanks for watching. Cook it up that way. Try it. Let me know how it comes out. Cast iron is the way to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.